uh, you can also oxidize other functional groups as well the most decent way of preparing alcohol uh, or, or preparing carboxylic acid is from alcohol if you take one degree alcohol if you oxidize it it will straight away go to c form carboxylic acid it will not stop at the stage of aldehyde because again aldehyde is prone to oxidation it is susceptible to oxidation and the final product will be carboxylic acid so although as the first after the first step of oxidation though you will have aldehyde but remember oxidizing agent that you will take here will be a strong oxidizing agent because weaker oxidizing agents like tollens reagents or ben benedict solution or felling solution is not going to oxidize alcohol they can oxidize only aldehydes so for oxidation of alcohol you are taking a ox strong oxidizing agent resulting in formation of aldehyde as the first product because when and when you have a strong oxidizing agent and aldehyde reaction is never going to stop at that end aldehyde will be very very quickly oxidized to give us finally immediately carboxylic acid so this is one way you add k2cr207 on 1 degree alcohol you'll get carboxylic acid you add kmno4 at uh, on 1 degree alcohol you'll get carboxylic acid as the final product so this is another way of oxidizing alcohol there's another class of oxidation that exclusively gives one kind of acid if you have alkyl benzene no matter what that r is the whether that r is uh, linear it's a normal chain or it's uh, there's branching it is aliphatic or aromatic it is open chain or it is ring no matter what that r is exclusively always and always you'll have one of the product as benzoic acid and depending upon the structure of r you'll have other side product and the other carboxylic acid but one of them will always be benzoic acid not to i'll not will be giving you a great uh, detailed explanation of this but what will happen uh, why it happens but what i'll do is i'll offer you a feel of why it should be happening and that must be sufficient to get you convinced i guess now i have a benzene i have a carbon attached to this benzene ring and there can be all sort of branching whatsoever you can imagine whatever this r part is i'm not concerned now because of this electronic density in benzene you have a huge electronic density above and below the plane of that benzene ring now because of this huge electronic density this electronic wave will enter into the adjacent orbital as we have seen hyperconjugation it's it will not be hyperconjugation exactly but because of the wave nature of electron this electronic wave will diffuse into the outer orbital we cannot stop that so this this electronic wave will try to diffuse into the orbital of other atom now this this or suppose this is our vital of this carbon then this is nearest to the electronic wave that we are having here this is the nearest any other orbital any other orbital that we take that will be further away so the highest amount of electronic density that we, that will go away from this electronic wave resonating inside the ring will be into the orbital of this carbon which is bonded directly to the benzene ring so this carbon is the most electron rich site if you don't have any c double bond o anywhere if you don't have any other uh, uh, c double bond c or c double bond triple bond c or any other unsaturation anywhere if you have all single bond then this carbon will be most electron rich now when you are oxidizing a substrate oxidation is nothing but loss of electron loss of electron is termed as oxidation so uh, uh, preferably loss will occur from the site which is electro most rich in, ele in electronic density from there the loss of electron will be easy because it is richest in electron so in that way if you are looking at the site which is the most rich electronic site then this carbon is most rich electronic site because of its because of its uh, agency agency because of its uh, vicinity because of its closeness with the benzene ring the and the greater amount of diffusion of electronic wave 
into the orbital of this carbon. So preferably oxidation will take place at the end of this carbon. So preferably this carbon will get oxidized. When this carbon gets oxidized you have a acid group on this carbon and the rest of the bond will be broken and whatever will happen to them we are not concerned. Do you have acidic groups formed with other bonds as well? But uh, one of the product will be definitely be benzene because oxidation at this carbon will take place and this carbon will con get converted into carboxylic acid group as we have seen. So there will be other acids formed in this reaction but exclusively we will have benzoic acid as one of the product always. So this is th that's why we have a benzoic acid whenever you take alkyl benzene no matter what that R is. So I hope that is convincing enough. The second kind of method of preparation of carboxylic acid is with Grignard reagent reacting with carbon dioxide gas followed by hydrolysis. This is the reaction that we saw as the last reaction when we studied Grignard reagent some time back. Now this reaction uh, we already know, we already are familiar with the reactions of Grignard reagent, we have seen them millions of time. Now this there is nothing to talk about this, we will quickly finish this off. The, the first thing that happens is, let me quickly revise you this. This carbon dioxide gas has a linear structure. Carbon dioxide gas has two C double bond O. So this carbon in the carbon dioxide gas is very electron deficient because you have extraction of electron from both the sides from oxygen, by oxygen. So this, this, this carbon is very, very electron deficient, very, very electron deficient enough to react very, very fast with this very, very unstable Grignard reagent. So the reaction is very fast. You have attack like this, you'll have breaking of pi bond like this, will have a generation of carboxylate ion and with subsequent protonation this carboxylate ion will turn to carboxylic acid and that will be the method of preparation of carboxylic acid. When we studied this reaction I told you this is a method of preparation of carboxylic acid and when we will see the method of preparation of carboxylic acid in carboxylic acid chapter we will see this as a method of preparation and here we are in the chapter carboxylic acid and we are seeing the method of preparation of carboxylic acid and we have seen this reaction. So whatever I said that came true. So <laughs> whatever it is, this is one of the method of preparation of carboxylic acid. Now to draw the structure of acid. Now this R part will remain as it is. There will be no reaction on this rest of the R part and this acidic group will be added on this R. So you will have an acid having one carbon greater than whatever it is in R. So suppose if I have to make propanoic acid, suppose I have to make propanoic acid. Then what should be the R? in the Grignard reagent. Now to see this, this will come from carbon dioxide gas and this will come from the R part in Grignard reagent. So the Grignard reagent that I must start with will be ethyl magnesium halide that is ETMGX because this is ethyl group. If I have to make uh, acetic uh, acid, if I have to make suppose, suppose I have to make acidic acid. Now this part will is going to come from carbon dioxide gas and this part is going to come from R so my R must be methyl MGX, right? So this is how it is.